You know, a lot of people are asking why I was wearing the mask in Japan. Usually people wear them to uh, prevent the spread of germs. That's kind of what I was hoping to do. I still ended up getting sick. I think I just kind of uh, worked myself to this point, trying to balance hanging out with my friends and doing the Mew quest line and making the videos, which I really enjoyed. And it seems like a lot of you also enjoyed. So thank you for the positive feedback. I'm glad you liked them. Was it worth me getting sick? Yes, absolutely. They're some of my favorite videos I've ever made. And if you haven't watched them yet, you should like click on the link in the description or like right up here and, and go watch them. They're good. But today, oh my goodness. Today, in fact, just a few minutes ago, a brand new event has started in Pokemon Go. The Kanto event, Kanto Celebration, is that what we're calling it? From now until April 17th, so one week, Gen 1 Pokemon, Kanto Pokemon are spawning in increased numbers. There's some new raid bosses. Uh, what else is going on? Double candy. Double candy's happening. And uh, there's some special boxes in the shop. So, first of all, in the shop, special... These are raid pass heavy boxes. Six raid passes, four lure modules, ten pineapple berries. Six incense, six lucky eggs, 12 raid passes, 16 is an odd, it's an even number, it's a strange number of pineapple berries. 24 raid passes, what a freaking deal. Yep, my bag's full. I'm gonna be grabbing one of these before the event ends though. So, despite being exhausted and sick, I'm making this video today so that I can give myself something to focus on and uh, a reason to stay awake until like seven o'clock and then I can just sleep for 12 hours. I'm trying to fight the jet lag here. This is coffee number three of the day. Also not seeing any new shinies reported yet on Twitter, but it's only been 13 minutes. So I guess we'll see. I'm gonna go for a walk. The next morning. <clears throat> so, so by now, I think we've all realized there are no new shinies being introduced with this Kanto celebration. Uh, I went out for like two hours waiting for new raid bosses to pop up. They were like seven hours late. I ended up falling asleep around like three, four o'clock. Slept on and off until eight o'clock this morning, so still don't feel rested. I think I'm probably one of the only YouTubers who didn't make a video about a ton of new shinies coming out with the event because there were new shiny sprites found in the game data network traffic uh, wherever we're discovering this stuff normally, but they were incomplete. There were enough gaps in them that I felt like that wasn't compelling evidence to say a lot of new shinies are coming. So maybe this is a lesson from Niantic not to uh, build our expectations based on things that we find that aren't officially announced. So with that said, um, what is going on with this event are increased Kanto Pokemon spawns. I've seen a lot of people tweeting that they're seeing some rarer Pokemon spawning for the first time. Uh, Kabutops, other stuff, that's the one that comes to mind right now <laughs> that I've seen on Twitter. The starter Pokemon, Pikachu, Magikarp are out in increased numbers, which is good news for anyone trying to complete the Mew quest line right now, I know Magikarp has been a difficult one for a lot of people, so this event basically is geared towards helping people complete the Mew quest line. There are a lot of requirements in that quest line, such as evolve a Magikarp, have a gold Kanto badge that has been difficult for people to obtain, people who maybe don't play as regularly as a lot of us watching this channel. Do I watch my own channel? I do. You know, players just getting back into the game after a long break, um, this event is meant to help people catch up and catch Mew. That said, I do wish there was something for the more dedicated players. Normally with these types of events that are meant to help people catch up, we also see something geared towards the more hardcore players. So even just one or two new shiny raid bosses would have been a good move by Niantic. The sale boxes right now are really the only thing geared towards hardcore players, and honestly, there's some of the best sale boxes we've ever seen in Pokemon Go. 1480 for 12 Lucky Eggs, 24 Raid Passes, 14 Star Pieces, 10 Lore Modules, 
that's an unbelievable deal. That's probably the best box I can think of that we've ever had. But when the only thing you have for hardcore players costs money, it doesn't really feel that exciting. So if there was like a shiny to chase after with the event, something to use these raid passes on, of course then people would say it was a, a cash grab. But regardless, something for the more hardcore players would have been nice, but this event is not for the hardcore players at its core. So with that said, let me just quickly go through the uh, raid bosses that are spawning during the event. We have Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle as tier 1 raid bosses, Venomoth, Muck, Lickitung, Weezing as tier 2 raid bosses. We've seen Muck and Weezing as raid bosses before. Lickitung... I'm still mad at Lickitung. I still, like, every time I see a Lickitung, it just reminds me of how long it took me to find a Lickitung. Tier 3 raid bosses, Alakazam, Onyx, Scyther, Omastar, Kabutops, Aerodactyl. Tier 4 raid bosses, Golem, Rhydon, Lapras, Snorlax. So a lot of these we've had as raid bosses before, but they're back now to help players who are returning to the game catch these Pokemon, get them in their Kanto Pokedex, because soon it's going to be even harder to find Kanto Pokemon in the wild. I, soon. But when Gen 4 gets introduced, when Sinnoh Pokemon start appearing in Pokemon Go... Um, everything will become a little bit rarer. So Niantic's just trying to help people catch up so that we can move forward. So think of this event as a way to say that Gen 4 and new Pokemon will probably be coming soonish. And then of course we still have all these existing raid bosses. So there are a ton of raid bosses out there right now, including Latios here, which I need to catch. Maybe I can go out and do that today. If I have the energy for it. Oh man, there's snowy cast forms out. We have foggy weather. This doesn't really look that foggy, but... One other thing that I wanted to quickly go over is we do have double candy right now for all actions, including transferring Pokemon, but I haven't claimed my final Mew reward, which includes 20 candies. I have four Mew candies right now. If I claim this reward, I'll get 5,000 Stardust, one Super Incubator, 20 Mew candies, and I have 24 Mew candies. So it doesn't double that, which is fine, I suppose, because that wouldn't be, that would probably make a lot of people upset who caught Mew already and collected that reward, but 24 Mew candies. I'm honestly just going to dump the rest of my rares into this. And then finally, one last sort of unannounced part of the event was that lures are lasting for six hours, which is great. Six hour lures. Uh, I don't think anyone could complain about six hour lures. Especially with them being on sale. <sighs> Excuse me. Anyway. Um, I think that's it. I'm getting chills right now. I'm too hot. I'm too cold. I'm probably just going to rest for the rest of the week. And try to like be healthy by this weekend for community day. So if there are no uploads for the rest of the week, you know why. Uh, thank you for the support on the new quest videos. Again, some of my favorite videos that I've made on the channel ever. So go check them out and I'm gonna edit this and then probably lay down. See you soon.